Hi, and welcome to Infinity Bottle Evolution. I am your host, EJ, here as per usual, doing a video on my Infinity Bourbon Bottle. Uh, we're up to version number nine today. I'm pretty excited to be back. So last time we got together, we did a little bit of a, a blind sample and blind edition. Um, I was totally mistaken. Um, sample A from Kevin came in and it was E.H. Taylor, um, single barrel. So I had guessed Manifest Project High Rye, wrong. Um, so last time we did add some of that E.H. Taylor in the mix here, as well as some of the barrel uh, private store pick for an ash liquor over in New Jersey. So anyways, we are back. So some statistics before we get going. As always, guys, please go ahead, subscribe, like, comment below. Uh, reach in to try to get to 100 subscribers out there so we can start doing some giveaway fun here. So we are back with the Infinity Bourbon bottle. Right now, the stats on that, we are into version number nine on the bottle. This bottle is currently sitting at about 38 days old. It's currently at 25 ounces in the bottle. There is currently proof of proofage of about 99.2 here, um, up about a whole point from last time. We were at about a 98.2. Um, right now, there's currently 33 things in the mix, and uh, we have the strongest percentages being about six percent of Old Forester 1920, about five percent of IW Harbor 15. So those are the key ingredients in the mix right now. About 74% corn, about 14% rye, 9% barley, 4% wheat. Uh, today I went a little bit heavier on my pour. I went, did I go an ounce and a half? Let's see here. Yeah, I went an ounce and a half. Um, I'm going to try to run her down a little bit because I want to do some videos coming up where I'm going to do couple things in the mix and I want to stick to an ounce, give or take. Um, so going to run her down a little bit today. We will be doing an addition, but um, wanted to pour a little bit more than I add. So version nine. Nose is still very floral. I'm getting some corn in there, but I'm definitely getting like a A little bit more like a floral meets a weediness, which is surprising because the weed is only making up 4% of the mix right now, the mash bill mix. Yeah, just a lot of corn and a lot of, a lot of flour in there. Cheers. Still really nice and floral, but I'm getting a little bit more corn this time than I did last time. A um, little bit more vanilla in the mix, but it's still definitely heavy on the floral side of bourbon. But I get a little bit of chocolate on the tail end. It's really nice. Excellent stuff. All right, I'm gonna continue to uh, sip on that. But as far as the addition today, um, we're going to add another newbie in the mix. Today, we are going to go ahead and add something I've been on the hunt for for a while. So this is my first uh, bottle of Smoke Wagon. This is the um, small batch straight, um, 100 proof. This one's about a $50 bottle. Um, I've really been searching for the unfiltered uncut. And my friend Kevin did come through and grab me a bottle of that. I have that in the reserves right now. But when I was out in the wild a couple of weeks back, I saw a bottle of this sitting on the shelf and knew I needed to grab it. Presentation is just gorgeous. Um, just really phenomenal looking bottle. Really love the, the wax seal up here. Um, just think it's super, super uh, classic looking, classy. And it might be a little hard to tell, but there's some nice floral patterns on the, on the bottle too. So really, really cool stuff. Um, this is out of um, Vegas. And I'm very excited to crack the bottle of the unfiltered, uncut stuff. But for the time being, I have had this. I've had a couple uh, pours now, and I definitely like it quite a bit. Um, 
I would say that it's a little bit more of the type of juice that I personally prefer on the rocks. Um, my buddy Kevin actually blind tasted this as well, and he, he thought it had a little bit of more bite than he was really planning on and thought it would be a really nice on the rocks sort of thing. So we're going to go ahead and add an ounce into the mix here. Yeah. So that's going to leave the bottle a little, little shorter than I normally like her. It's going to leave the bottle at about 24 and a half uh, ounces in the mix. But like I said, there's a method to my madness. And that's all about the fact that in coming videos, I want to be able to add two, maybe three things into the mix um, while still only doing roughly about an ounce pour. All right, guys, so short video today, but got the point across. Um, thank you, everybody that's out there watching. Um, I definitely want to try to make these videos shorter and shorter um, now that I'm doing more output. As um, I've said many times, if you have an Infinity bottle going out there, please reach out. We'd love to trade samples with you, see what you're working with. Um, we have our Infinity Bourbon bottle, as you know. We also have our infinite infinity bottle we're working on which is an infinity model made up of samples of infinity bottles I have a couple of samples in route for that project so we plan on doing a couple additions there in the coming weeks uh, maybe be doing a video with a uh, adding a couple things coming up here pretty soon but we're also going to be starting another bottle very soon i've decided that i'm gonna start a whiskey bottle which is going to be my it ain't bourbon infinity bottle. Um, that's going to be made up of rye, some American. I don't have any Scotch or Irish in the house, but if I did, that sort of stuff would make it in the mix. Um, you know, your Canadians. So that's going to be a, a basically like anything in my cabinet that fits that whiskey bill. I'll even toss a little moonshine in there. Um, I've got some sitting on the sidelines right now. So anything that's wish whiskey ish um we'll go into that bottle so point being uh you know we love all things infinity bottle and we definitely plan on continuing to build that um, catalog out in our personal collection and love to have you guys involved so please reach out if you'd like to trade samples um, of infinity bottles you know i'm even into trading samples of things for my collection um doesn't necessarily have to be infinity bottles because then i have new things to add into the infinity bottles so point being we got some really excited stuff in the pipeline coming up we're going to be adding some van winkle 12 year lot b into this um, we're going to be adding some um, blantons really soon um, we're going to be adding um, another number of things uh, you know i got a bunch of stuff in the cabinet and i recently decided you know what I'm, I'm comfortable going up to about 50 bottles in the cabinet opened um so that gives me more more juice for the mix here. So anyways, um, thanks for watching as always. Stay safe out there. And uh, stay tuned. Please subscribe. Please, please like. Please comment. And keep blending. Blend the pain away. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.